the impact of interest rates now on a on a sample size that small actually has a bigger impact. And we look at rates. Rates were running about 6.28 uh, the beginning of the week. Feds came out and announced their 75 point increase, and then rates went down because, as you know, the bond market prices in anticipation, and they anticipated 75 points, and they got it. They backed off a little bit. We're probably going to be hovering around here based on the charts that we see probably most of the month. Probably won't see much movement until maybe um, next month, month of July. So um, hard to tell. I mean, it's anybody's guess. You know, there'll be another round of inflation numbers coming out, and that's what's driving rates right now. So that's a, that's a tough one. On the Cromford market index, you can see that, you know, they're all red. All the cities are coming down with, in, in particular, look at Buckeye, 131.5, Maricopa, 147, and Queen Creek. What I think is going on in those markets is um, more and more new builds are actually being listed on the MLS. So that increases the inventory. In fact, I'm starting to now get emails from builders. Rick, we're offering a 3% co-broke commission. So <laughs> I like what Terry says here. Agents are going to print flyers and answer their phones again, right? You would think. That's the one thing that really surprised me when I got into this. I was a, a director of sales. And, you know, if I didn't answer my phone from a customer and get back in within 15 minutes, um, I was screamed at. And uh, I can't believe how many people don't answer their phones. One of the reasons I think is in this industry, we get inundated with phone calls of somebody trying to sell us something, a new lead gen or this and that. So if we don't recognize a number, we probably let it go to voicemail. Active inventory up 17% year over year across the country. We're up in some parts of ours up 92% versus last year. But remember, we were down at one point to only 4,800 homes. Hi, Jackie. They should have never stopped. Sadly, they did. Take it back to the old days. Yeah, that's getting back to the comment about the uh, new construction. Um, I'm seeing discounts on some new move-in ready builds, at least from what I see on their websites. It's going to start showing up more and more. I'm going to share some numbers that show you uh, uh, what the listing count is that's going on. And then I also want to show you what's going on with regards to um, um, closing over list price and the contract ratio. Um, the contract ratio is showing you how successful people are at uh, that chart doesn't look like anything. I'm not going to show you that. Here's one I get all the time. Where are foreclosures? Way down here. Nothing's going on in that market yet, folks, and it'll be a while before you see anything there, if, if at all. So I'm not sure what we can expect in foreclosures because, again, 53% of the homes that are out there People who own mortgages have rates under 4%. It's going to take a real calamity to get them to want to give their home back to the bank versus sell it. So where's all this inventory and what's, what's showing up? And if you're a buyer and you're sitting on your hands now, why? And, and I don't blame you. I'm just asking that uh, rhetorically here. Uh, we got strategy in some markets here in Denver seem to overprice then lower the but overall price is still good is that all the perception of the deal no I think it's you know sellers are the last ones to get the memo uh, you know the age is probably telling them look it's you know prices are are turning um, they're turning quickly and and we can expect to see that price increases in our market now are are gone so but we've we've gone up about 13% so far this year. You can expect that to be the peak going forward. And that's what it looks like. Um, maybe my realtor's pushing me to get a house before rates are going back up. And I'm already priced out of qualifying for the loan based on my income. 90K, Arizona. Y yeah, everybody's going to have a different story for that one. Jackie says, uh, Tina Cromford today said we might start seeing his second homes and Airbnbs affect the market. I think we're seeing that and we're seeing um, in Maricopa here, look at this, they are above 2019 inventory levels. I think some of that's probably new construction, but look where we went from 20 years, 2020, 2021, had 84 listings in Maricopa, 75, and now you got 386. <laughs> that's why they're almost considered a balanced market. And you get to Queen Creek 
starting to see the same thing. We're almost back to 2019 levels. Now, does this mean we're going to see 2019 prices? Highly unlikely at this point. Um, if people can't afford the average home, things will balance out. The home will start to come down. Wages will have to catch up. We're in very uncertain times right now when it comes to saying, how does normal math work in a market like this? Because we've never seen fuel prices as high as they are. And that's what's driving all of this. Fuel prices, I went out today, what's it, 559, 569? And uh, um, that affects everything. Everything we touch, food, plastics, even the plastic that goes around this water bottle, everything we touch is affected by oil prices. And now you're seeing the alarm bells. Farmers can't afford to plant because they can't afford the fuel to put in their equipment. And if they could, they can't get the fertilizer. So it's going to be really interesting. Um, Jackie said, it's a lot of new construction, Tina said today. So new construction is showing up in those in those charts. At what price do you have to use a jumbo loan in Arizona? You know, I don't know that off the top of my head. Jackie, maybe you know. Um, Chandler is also seeing an increase in listings. They're not up to 2019 levels, but they are coming up. And then we have um, Fountain Hills is still way down here, as is um, parts of uh, Paradise Valley. So they're way below. So those, what we consider luxury markets, they're not seeing a spike in inventory yet. It, it doesn't mean that uh, they're selling quickly. It just means that they, they aren't listing as many. I thought it would be a good time to pull out this chart that, that I made, 647 and change, Jackie says, for um, jumbo market. B&G, higher gas prices would mean also have less incentive to move far out for cheaper prices. Still work in Phoenix Metro. Yeah, right now you just want to live across the street from your office. I mean, it's it's rough. It's There's times I think, I don't know if I want to drive there today. Had to drive to Scottsdale today from the East Valley. And they go, oh, I wonder how much that's going to cost me. I made this chart. So as you're looking at sitting out and you don't want to buy right now and you want to wait, you need to know what you're, what you're waiting for for and what that impact is going to be on your payment. And uh, that's why I've got this sheet here. And basically, it's a mortgage loan calculator that I duplicated several different spots down here. And you can put in your purchase price. For giggles, I put in 500000 I put in the interest rate of today, which is 6.2. And it gives you your monthly payment. And I assumed a 20% down, although you don't need 20% down for the purposes of this calculation. I'll look up Gilbert in a second here, Ryan. Um, that's what I used here for this example. Now, for you, here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to enter the price change. So $500,000, you are saying, I'm waiting. I think prices are going down 25% next year. Okay, so put that there. And put in here in the yellow box what you think the interest rate's going to be. So let's say it's going to be 8% because a lot of you have said, I think we're headed to 8%. So put that in there your payment will go down $249 a month after, even after it dropped from 500,000 to 375, you're saving two and some change. Now, if the interest rate stays at 6.2, you'll save $612, providing it goes down in value by 25%. Then you can leave that alone. Then you can go down here and say the same scenario, 6.2, 5% price change. How much do I save? So you can kind of walk through yourself and look at what you're going to see if you think prices are going down, if you think they're going to level off, if you think rates are going to come down, or you think they're going to spike, use this so that you can say, well, here's what I think is going to happen. Now you know bottom line, this is what's going to happen. So if you're looking out and you say rates are going to be at 8%, you no longer have to guess. You can say, well, I know that if prices go down 10% and my interest rate goes up to um, to 8 uh, then this is the difference. I'm going to have a pay. I'm going to save uh, 400 bucks maybe on my payment or, or $150. Hard to tell, but I want you to encourage you just email me at rick at rickhelps.com and I'll shoot that right out to you. I also, um, I won't spam you. Those of you that have asked for that spreadsheet report know that I don't put you on any kind of a list. Now, if you sign up on my website, yes, 
you'll get put on kind of a list. Hey, I see you're still looking for homes, blah, blah, blah. And if you ever get tired of that, just click on the bottom, unsubscribe.